Hello. Greetings. Today I'm looking at remotely editing files on a Raspberry Pi. Um, now this is something you may need to do if you are doing a lot of code and you want to write it on a remote machine with um, you know you may want to copy and paste lots of bits and pieces in um, you might not want to use Vim or Emacs there may not be any other text editors installed on the remote machine it may be a slow machine so yeah sometimes you need to edit a file on a remote server but using Vim Emacs is not very practical due to lag and speed of screen refresh TextMate users have the classic RMate, but it was implemented in Ruby. A better option is this version of RMate. So yeah, um, I don't think this is the actual tutorial or the page that I used when I installed it, but um, it's actually a, quite a condensed version of what you need to do. Um, let me show you it working first and then we'll come back to this. So basically you need to install RMate and you need to do some uh, port forwarding with your SSH. So um, yeah, let's go to my desktop. So on my Windows PC I have a free version or uh, Sublime Text which is actually Free. you get a nag screen every month or two if you don't license it so that's up to you um, on this side you can see I've got my Raspberry Pi I'm SSH into it just so that you can kind of see the spec of it and everything so um, yeah I'm just going to show you what happens when you type in our mate and YouTube demo.py wait a second or two and boom can you see this YouTube demo.py that's just appeared and this is on the Windows machine okay so let's just do print hello world and just to prove that it's live, I'm going to just press, um, just do date, and it's 11.35 and 34 seconds. So let's just add that, 11.35, 11, 34 seconds. So save that. I'll just run it, just to uh, prove it runs fine on the Windows PC on Sublime. So that's just um, Control B, hello world. That, um, just in case you didn't know, you just need to do build and build with. And yeah, I'm told it to use Python, but if you want to build system, go to build system. And then if you're writing a file in C, then you choose C single file or C++ single file. I've ticked Python, so that's why it compiled with Python. Okay, so this is C users. Obviously, this is a Windows PC on the Raspberry Pi, if I now do ls, you can see it's created YouTube demo.py. Uh, if we do another one, just to show there's no uh, no camera trickery going on here, uh, just move up. Okay. Um, our mate demo2.py wait a few seconds and demo2.py so um, yeah that's so straightforward really isn't it and uh, here we go if we just put that in there uh, I don't want to do that let's just do this uh, just for lols and then I'll show you how it's set up and so on so <laughs> there we go. Hello. Let's. Um, I've installed um, PyFiglet on my Pi as well. So let's just do um, do ls again, and you can see demo two's appeared. Python three demo two dot py. Oh, no module. 
Ah, I know why that is. It's because I did pip install when I installed it rather than pip3. Let's just do pip3 install. Now try. Uh, what was it? Um, oh. <sighs> Easy to type it. Python 3 demo 2.py. There we go. Um, yeah, another tip. So yesterday I did the um, the demo on how to get scrapey uh, items.py working by using path append. That's if it's that's with module not found error. Um, now I didn't really want to do all the path append import sys nonsense here. So yeah, just um, if your module doesn't work, just check that you've used pip3 rather than um, what did I use up here I think I used well I can tell you I used just pip pip install so pip3 install if you've got python2 and python3 installed so yeah there we go so that's how it works if I just show you my SSH connection and if we go down here Hi for B. If we look at SSH, so I'm using Putty. Putty's free as well. If we go to SSH, well, let's go to the start. You saw that I had numerous connections. Uh, let's just start it up again. I'll just go to it again. So change settings. You can see I've got four connections there. The one, this is Pi four B. So Pi four B. And then tunnels. This is all I added. So you need to add, uh, when you add it, you need to add a source port. So 52698, add it in there where I've got the cursor now, and then click add. And then destination. So source is localhost 52698, and then destination is. Um, 52698 as well and then just do add and apply what that does is it sends um, the SSH command back to the Windows machine that you're using putty on uh, I'm not going to do a full tutorial on how to set it up because um, yeah it's <laughs> I've only done it once and it was a bit trial and error but I wanted to demonstrate how it actually operates because um, there's lots of information out there on um, YouTube, on the internet, on um, how to set up remote um, Raspberry Pi with VS Code and so on. I just wanted to show a video showing it working with Sublime Text as of uh, what's the month? September 2020. Well, you can see that there. And um, yeah just do oh, mate, and then the name of new file new file name dot py and it sends the instruction back to the PC that you're on the remote PC so obviously I'm using this on a Raspberry Pi but as you read it's equally um, suitable for uh, for using on um, any kind of remote server especially if it's only got Vim V Emacs on and you want to do a lot of typing and pasting in and bits and pieces so yeah editing files remotely via SSH on sublime text this was 2014 this was written but the instructions still stand um, you need to install putty you need to install rmate I haven't checked if that link still the correct one but you can search for rmate you'll you'll find it um, you need to change it so that it's executable and then um, you can you may need to uh, or you'll need to just add um, add this into your path uh, yeah path 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 is very important um, that's it hope you've enjoyed it if you've got any questions uh, let me know and also let me know if you've used anything different to our mate um, there's other bits and pieces 
out there which do a similar job if there's any which are easier to set up or, or got more features whatever then let me know in the meantime have a nice day cheers bye